if you want to display the number, if we want to display the incident number which we have deleted in the same code, how we can do? Can we put incident dot number to to get the details? You want to know which record you want to delete, right? Yes, through script only. Here, what we are doing, we are deleting that record. No, it's not one record which unable to achieve that uh, uh, deleted record through scripting. In case, uh, unfortunately. If you delete any uh, record, we can be able to recover it. I'm not sure. My question here is not to recover it. My question here is to display the number which we deleted or which we updated. I think uh, after deleted after deleted this record, I think it's not going to display any number. Let me again suppose uh, I will change that another number. Suppose record number this one, right? Copy this is ID. Okay, this time I'm going to change the C ID. Okay. okay? Now, if you want to print it, so just start print. I think after delete the record, the number is not going to printing. As for my experience, I'm saying, okay, and start number. So, which record you want to delete it? You want to delete it here. Yes, we can able to forget the delete number also. This number record number is deleted success. Okay. Okay, same thing can be applicable on update as well. Yes, yes, update also. Just start print and uh, which number updated. So in case of unfortunate delete record, so how can you recover it manually? Already know, right? Delete record is one more module is there. Through that module, you can be able to recover it. But how can you record us through scripting available here? Record number 10, I want to recover it through execution history. So roll back script execution, just you can pass it and click on OK. Now we'll check whether it was recovery or not. So reload the browser. Record number 10 is came, right? Previously it was deleted. Now it's came because of I have done the rollback. Clear guys? So this is about the Glide record. If you want to explore more into the Glide record, go to documentation API and uh, Glide record is executing on the server side. Go for the server side API, server side API, and uh, we here we can get it. All the methods which are available in Glide record. So go to my Glide record. If you open the Glide record, so add active query, add encoded query. Glad record add null query. So what about add null query guys? So what about add null query? Add not null query. See. <coughs> Sorry. See, suppose I'm going to using one more method add null query. This method can display that which value is null in particular record. So which value short description where the short description value is null display those all the records where the short description value is null display those all the records now inc dot and uh, query and while loop inc dot next method open the loop now just dot print of inc dot that number where that short description value is empty i want to print out those all records variable inc go to new glad record of instant table and add null query where that uh, short description value is null in all the table records display those all the record numbers into my code okay now background scripts there is no null value right not null right add not null query so where the short description value is not empty and it display the all records because there is no empty short description value one record right in case if you remove that any
all the cards. think we are unable to remove this value yes we can be able to remove this value again we can execute this code where the short description value is null so that is a method called add null query add null query where the short description value is empty displays all records now this time only display the one record previously all the field with these are valid right so this is about the glide record guys That is, uh, remaining APIs are very simple and uh, very simple APIs like a uh, Glide form, Glide user, date and time, and aggregation and systematically. Okay. So, sir, a Glide record uh, can be used in, in in both the sides of record in recording. I mean, in terms of client and server side. No. In both the sides we can use. No. Uh, so, majority time, frequently we can use only server side. I will let you know when we working with the scripting part, actual places like business oh. rules script include and uh, like uh, your actions but sometimes we can be able to write the script like uh, client scripts also but it's complexity okay if you want to write the glide record in the client script we can be able to write it using by the callback function that's a different case we'll discuss later okay okay so this is this uh, glide record we use only for server side scripting yeah server side scripting. yes okay now now we can working with glide form let me open the documentation so reminding examples you can practice yourself for understanding purpose but hierarchy is the same for all the methods okay next one so what is a glide form glide form also very important and common api frequently we are going to using in the client side right so glide form can executing on the client side use it to perform in some client side operation like a uh, change the form behavior if we make mandatory or optional read only visible and um, visible invisible read only and optional and visible invisible based on the client requirement we can implement these other things through glide form methods so glide form can executing on the client side so what is the global object of glide form g underscore form we have to define with the g underscore form right now see scroll down here scroll down how to execute the, so we have a different methods are available so get, get value set value set visible add error message info message clear value get table name get reference save different methods are available okay so now i'm going to working with these are all the methods one by one right all the methods one by one first of all let me open the documentation so step one control shift J. let me open instant table all records All record set right? <clears throat> now this record how can you execute glide form methods in client side glide form methods can execute on the client side within browser window so how can we execute that server side javascript go to background scripts application we can execute the javascript code there but where we can execute server like client side javascript very simple <coughs> open that any form that may be existing or new form right <coughs> sorry in this case i'm going to open i'm oh, i hope and it's one existing form control shift j so automatically open javascript executor client savage client side javascript executor will open is the javascript executor so the all glade for methods we can execute in my javascript executor so how can you execute this all the things so very simple g underscore form is a global object if you want to get any 
current record value if you want to get any field value from current record right if you want to get any value from current record we can use get value method okay so which field value you want to get it so i want to get category field value right so how can you get output in client side we have to use alert message alert of g underscore form dot get value of category right and execute here and uh, run my code we have to close the another bracket right see copy again control c and uh, guys i'm going to reminding one more time also every api may containing number of methods now just i'm going to show what is the purpose of the each method what is the result how these are going to executing in client and server side but actually these are all the methods we have to use and write in where different places like a client scripts business rules script include glad ajax and ui access these are all the places frequently we can write the scripting but now this time i'm going to executing all the methods one by one for understanding purpose without knowledge these are all the methods how can you write the scripting directly in these all the places not possible right that's why first of all we are going to executing these all the methods and get the result what is the current record category value software and dynamically if you want to set that value right so i want to set the value as well how to set the value so now g underscore form dot set value set value use it to set the value dynamically in current form so in that what are the parameters we have to pass it which field value want to fill it out category field i, I want to fill and what is the value software and copy this code all tap paste here run my code first of all display that alert message current record category value software and when you click on that okay oh already software right now i want to change this to hardware hardware again first of all alert will be execute current record category value software and dynamically i am going to set it changes to hardware i think colon is here hardware right string value always you can pass in singular double quotes now paste here on my code display that current record is category value software and uh, set it to hardware automate set to hardware right dynamically we can be able to set the value as a hardware right hardware now so many methods are available how to clear the value how to clear the value we have one more method is called g underscore form dot clear value if you want to clear the any value so basically just i'm going to execute these all the methods but before that we need to like just i'm going to perform the action before going to perform the action we need to write the condition as well right now this time this time i'm not going to writing any condition if condition this time going to show the all the methods out there going to execute it. g underscore form dot clear value so which field value you want to clear it category field value i want to clear so category value i want to clear if you want to clear any current record field value you can be able to clear it g underscore form dot g underscore form nothing but a global object of glide form it can be captured like it can, it can be handled with all the methods like uh, it may be performed the operations on current record so click on that category right clear value so value spelling mistake value clear the value right so clear value okay in case if you want to save the record how can you save the record so we can be able to use the save method save method right so just you can use the save method to 
save the record in client side now let me open the documentation one by one so now i'm going to work with the remaining methods clear value and uh, set disable set disable purpose we can a field make mandatory what we discussed previously guys what is a ui policy what is client scripts ui policy is alternative of client scripts in the ui policy we cannot write a single line of code using by the out of the box functionality a field make mandatory or optional read only and writable visible and invisible but if you want to perform same kind of operation through scripting there in the client script we can using these all the glide form methods so set disable so set disable method is used to a field make read only which field you want to make read only that may be category field that may be any field right so category category field just you can pass it true right so copy this code now there is no read only right read only in case if you want to read only false that give the value read only false if you want to set mandatory the category field by default it's not mandatory category field by default it's not mandatory how can you the field make mandatory suppose i can say if that if condition if state equal to equal to 6 6 nothing but result then g underscore form dot set mandatory resolution code true g underscore form dot set mandatory resolution not set true so if is the condition if condition then action is you can using the glide form methods set mandatory if you want to if you make mandatory through scripting we can using set mandatory which field you want to make it mandatory category field i want to make mandatory now there is no mandatory right? now came right in case if you don't want to make mandatory just make it false not mandatory set mandatory set disable so if you want to hide the field we have a two methods to hide the field through scripting one is set display second one is set visible now i'm going to work with the set display set display which field you want to hideable category set display true yes i want to hide this field false i think right where is my category field invisible right because of hide using by the set display now if you want to display this particular field just you can pass it true and the set display is a one more method and we have one more method called set visible so one method is another method set visible false guys what do you observe here anybody observe what is the difference between very very important question in interview also what is the difference between set visible and set display what is the uh, difference set, between set visible uh, here we can see the space of the particular field but the field yes. is not there see set visible should be meant in the space set display cannot maintain the space but both can be hide the field now so g underscore form not set visible so field can be hideable but uh, it can be made in the space but set display so hide the field and uh, don't maintain any space here that is the main difference between based on the client requirement we can use any particular method in glide form right next one is so is mandatory suppose a particular field is mandatory how can you know that g underscore form dot form dot is is mandatory so which field category just i want to know so if you want to get output we have to use alert message and with the other g underscore form dot is mandatory category field is mandatory so if the mandatory display the true 
not meant to display the false there is no category field first of all set visible true then alert message currently the category field is not mandatory g underscore form just i'm asking system i'm I, i'm asking to the system uh, is category field is mandatory it is saying no category field is not mandatory really not mandatory right that's why giving the false so based on the condition i want to perform the operation okay right just i'm asking to system so when you write the scripting part that time you can understand it very clearly okay 